All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to start by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel. Peace and salutations to all the sins of Akim and during afflictions, making her calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. Shabbat Kabar. It's the brother Yitzhakar. And uh, we're back with another one. You know, this one's going to go into uh, a topic called the elect will do this. You know, certain things all right, in the scriptures, all right, that the elect, which means chosen, you know, we'll, 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 we'll get that. You know, the chosen all right, are going to do particular things. Um, so, yeah, we, we start here in Second Ezra. Uh, it's 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed. See, so right there, it says every everyone, all right, that shall be saved, all right? And that's, that's what we should want, man. You know, like these Christians, they say that we are saved. Well, we want to literally be saved, all right? In the form of being delivered out of here, being preserved as a, actually, we can keep going. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, verse eight, shall be, I'll read seven again. Mm -hmm. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders for i have sanctified them for me from the beginning Khan, all right so this is true salvation all right true re redemption you know truly all right being chosen all right this is something all right that the most high has done he has sanctified particular people from the beginning to be preserved you know from the said perils that's to come you know it says shall see my salvation in my land you know but jumping back to verse 7 where it says everyone that shall be saved it says shall be able to escape by what this is his works you know which being a brother did a lesson uh you know going into faith and works mm -hmm. you know because it says by his works and by faith mm -hmm. whereby ye have believed so these are indicators right here man you for one you got to believe you know then you got to have faith which that's really synonymous with each other you know but how faith is accomplished is by those works you know, so those are things that we need or that the elect all right, are going to have. But we would need that if, if we're the elect. You know what I'm saying? This doesn't this doesn't happen. All right. No, no one's the elect if they don't got this, man. Uh, uh kind of. Uh, it's um, Sirach. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 10 it says and the elect shall praise his holy name straight like that see the elect shall praise his holy name all right so that's something that the elect would be doing you know ultimately all of israel is going to be doing this man you know because all of israel is the elect you know but it starts all right with the ones who truly believe on this side the ones who are going to repent on this side you know from there the whole nation of israel which is the elect is going to be doing this you know you got this. Yeah, I got a quick one. I agree with you. Khan. This is the book of the prophet Zephaniah, chapter 3, and verse 9. It says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, to serve him with one consent. With one consent. You know what I'm saying? That's the elect, the body of Amashiach, Yahweh Shah. That's that one consent. They, they've consented together. You know, and that pure language is the ancient Paleo Hebrew, man. You know, which uh, it uh, identifies the name of our uh, of the Heavenly Father uh, as Yahweh, you know, uh, Bahashem in the name of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Savior, man. You know, so the, this, this, this pure language has been turned into the remnant of uh, the, the nation of Israel, the elect, you know, and they have mm -hmm. that name and they're all calling on that name with one consent, you know. Mm. Yep. I don't know. So like certain camps, you know, they, they don't believe in the name. Hey, man, you know, this prophecy is something that, that's big, man. You know, we, we can't say, oh, we're going to get the name in the kingdom. Nah, the elect are going to have the name on this side as well, man. Mm -hmm. You know, how are you going to call upon the name of the Lord? You know, how are you going to get saved without calling upon the name of the Lord? Mm -hmm. You know, which is not just literally calling upon in the name, but I mean, this right here, <laughs> you know. Said the elect gonna praise his holy name. <laughs> right. He said what they gonna do. Right. It says here a pure language. So we know this isn't talking about just a, a title. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. a name in the form of like a, just a title right. or just you know what the name stands for. Mm -hmm. That that that's a big part of it as well. But we, we can't discredit the name, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We got a quick one. 
Yep. So Zechariah 14 and 9. Okay. This is the book of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. It says, And the Lord, Yahweh, shall be king over all the earth. In that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. Yeah, his name going to be. So the name of the, of the Lord is one name. You know, the Lord ain't got multiple names, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Lord got multi, don't have multi names. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Don't have nicknames. Nickname, you know right? Mean? Call them Yo Play Yogurt. <laughs> God, uh, nah, that's <laughs> just call them what you want to call them. You know what I'm saying? No, you know what I'm saying? The Lord got one name, and the lit gonna praise that holy name. Mm. You know, it said singular name. It didn't say names. One, you know? yeah. <laughs> said they gonna is a pure language gonna be turned unto them, and they gonna. Uh, call upon the name of the Lord with one consent, you know. Mm -hmm. They're all going to consent together in, within the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you mm -hmm. know. Because you got your you got your people who come under the vibration of of uh, Yahuwah and uh, Elohim, you know. And uh, it, a lot of those uh, brothers and our people who come up under those different names come under, under different vibrations. They not they don't really come up under the doctrine. Of uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know, with the with the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah comes a certain type of uh stigma with it, you know, mm -hmm. a certain type of classification with it. Not saying that everybody who knows that name is gonna be elected, you know, <clears throat> but right, that's a good indicator, you know, because that mm -hmm. is the certain the type of vibration that comes with it, you mm -hmm. know, kind of not, you know, and that's what Jake, you know, uh, start bugging themselves out thinking. You know, like, oh, so how, you know, what about Jake's who's in, in another uh, part of the country where they don't have access to the name and stuff like that? Hey, man, scripture says what it says, man. You know, <laughs> so the elect are so, somehow going to have the name, man. Okay. You know, that that's just that's what the scripture say. I got one. Okay. You know, uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4, you know, this is uh, uh, the Shammai prayer right here. It says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord, Yahweh, our power, is one Lord, one. You see that? That's the same. The same. It says Akkad. Mm -hmm. You know, one. Okay. So, like the brother mentioned, you know, this is holy name. Holy means separate, man. Set apart. It's it's, it's a name that that's holy, man. You know, Kadash, man. Mm -hmm. I got one more. Right? Uh, Romans ten and fourteen. Oh, it's like a thirteen. Yep. I was thinking about that one. God. This is in Romans 10 and verse 13. Mm -hmm. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So whosoever that calls upon the name of the Lord is going to be saved, you know. Of course, of the nation of Israel, you know. That's right. Mm -hmm. 14 is what? Oh, you're going to ask something like it. Kind of says, How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? Mm -hmm. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Mm -hmm. And how shall they hear without a preacher? Yeah, so how you gonna call on, on, on him on whom you have not believed in? You know, you you, you calling, how, how you gonna call on the one one Lord, the one power, the one God, but you don't, you don't even believe in that one God. You know what I'm saying? You believe in another another God. You know, the <laughs> scriptures tell you there's uh, Lord's many and God's many. You know what I'm saying? So it's many gods. You know what I'm saying? Of course, it's only one true God. The rest of these other gods are idols, you know. But if you're calling on these idols, then, you know, you're going to have to, you're going to have to, uh, you know, trust within these uh, these idols to be saved, man. You know, you, you how about Shema Shah is not associated with idols, man. You know? Come on. So you have to, you, you, you got like, you got to hear the name of Yahweh Shema Shah. You got to hear the name of the Lord, man. And adhere to it. That's right. Yeah, the elect will do this. The elect would, would come, you know, to that to that uh, revelation, to that conclusion, mm -hmm. you know, about about having that name, believing in the name, you know, and truly doing those things, you know. So, uh, you got some? Uh, no, I got the next one. Come on, what you got? Uh, this uh, revelations. Let me show this. Uh, yep, this revelation chapter fourteen, verse three. It says. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the 144,000 which were redeemed from the earth. You got it. God, yeah. So a part of that song is name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. This is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah records. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like we did that list yesterday. We, we trying to get signed. Yeah. You know, like this, 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 this your How About Shem, your How Shaz records, man. Okay, so the, the, the song comes under that banner. You know, the the the, 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 the song is a, the, the new song is associated with the banner, which is the name of your How About Shem, your How Shaz. You know. Mhm. Mm Straight like that, man. Yep. It's something that the elect would do, you know, which, you know, we were uh, really talking about the 144,000 that when we talk about the elect, because all the Israel is the elect, but it starts, you know, with uh, particular men, all right, who's going to stand stiffly on the name. Lord willing, we'll get that, you know, mm -hmm. this is how, how this thing starts, you know, the elect within the elect, you know, the holy of holies, you know, the Israel of the most high, mm -hmm. you know, it starts with them. And then ultimately all the Israel is going to be uh, doing these things, man, you know. All the Israel is going to be doing that, you know? So really, you, you can apply it both ways. All the Israel is going to be doing this, mm -hmm. you know? Singing that new song, man, on the, on that day, man, you know? Well, ultimately, you know, <laughs> after after a thousand years, you know, right. all the Israel is going to be, uh, you know, on be righteous, tomb. man, on mm -hmm. that tune, exactly. Yep. But yeah, kind of not. Uh, I think that four right, too. It's a lot. Yep. It says, uh, I read through again. This is they song as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders, and no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty-four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto Yahweh and to the Lamb. Can I not? You know? So this is the more indicators right here, man. It's describing them, you know? It says they were not defiled, all right, with woman, which we know woman goes into philosophies, mm -hmm. you know? Which a big philosophy is woman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. The scriptures talk about it. You know, that's our biggest downfall. So it's a reason why, you know, this analogy is being made. But you can also uh, read between lines and see that, okay, the elect, within this context, they're going to have to be men. You know, there's not going to be an analogy talking about, you know, being defiled with woman. All right, if uh, 144,000 is woman included in that, mm. you know what I'm saying? That's a nice point. But it says, you know, uh, they're not defiled, which Yahusha mentioned, uh, I don't know if I had that on the list in uh, Matthew 15, mm -hmm. but yeah. that's kind of, that's something that um, the elect are not going to be defiled, man. You know, it says, for they are virgins, which, you know, that's not literal, you know what I'm saying? It's, if that's the case, then how is Israel going to be here if everyone is just a eunuch, you know what I'm saying? Then. <laughs> what about the commandment to be fruitful and multiply? Mm -hmm. You know, that, I mean that that's something that uh, Uncle E would want everyone to just, uh, you know, what I'm saying, be virgins. And then the uh, scriptures speak about how the elect, uh, Yahabashimasha, would not destroy the posterity of his elect. You mm. know what I'm saying? So you know, what's 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 posterity, posterity going into their your uh, your progeny? You know, you're going into uh, your <laughs> seed line. You know, so know. Yahabashimasha, he deals with the elect's children. You know. Mm-hmm. That's right. This whole topic there. Uh, you know? And it says, these are they which follow the lamb, whether so if he goes. So that's another thing, man. You know, the elect, all right, the hundred four for thousand, you know, are going to be following the lamb, which is Yahweh Shah. Mm. You know, Yahweh Shah said, follow me. Mm. You know? So this is something that, you know, the followers of Yahweh Shah, all right, they're going to really, they're going to do the things that Yahweh Shah commanded. They're going to be in the same spirit, you know? That that's what the elect will be doing. You know, Lil Will 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 get more on that, you know? God. That was it. Oh, uh, can you read five on that too, uh, Bible Kasha? It says in their mouth. Oh, so like it, hold on. Before, before we do I got the quick that precept I quoted. I'm just gonna get it real Con, quick. Brother. Uh Sirach forty seven and twenty two. Read it for you. Con. Sirach forty seven and verse twenty two. <clears throat> it says, But the Lord will never leave off his mercy, neither shall any of his works perish. Neither will he abolish the posterity of his elect. Mm -hmm. In the seed of him that loveth him, he will not take away. Mm. Wherefore, he gave a remnant unto Jacob, and out of him a root unto David. You see? Mm. <laughs> so then it's, it's telling you that the uh, the the, uh, the 144 are not going to be literal virgins, man. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he, he just told you to let, he's not going to destroy their children. You know? <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah. they how they virgins if they got children? Kind of not. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, they're not little virgins, man. These Christians, they want to say, you know, what I'm saying, oh, 104,000 says that they're going to be virgins. Well, 
that that means what? Uh, King David, he he's off the list. He ain't the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, King Solomon. Right. You know, many many righteous men. Mm -hmm. All right, who who seed? Okay, uh, was continued. All right, mm -hmm. until we we get here and we're actually. We're at this point now. Well, well, hold on. I thought the woman going to be saved through childbearing. Woo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's You're a cut. not too far off. That's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a cut, man. Yeah. yeah. You know, prophecies taught the new covenant. It says the words uh, shall not leave thy mouth, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, <laughs> nor the mouth of thy seed yep, seed. Yep, You know? Yep. So, yeah. Khan. Yep. Khan, huh? You are... Uh... Back in Revelation yeah, huh? 14, seven. verse 5, it mm -hmm. says, And in their mouth was found no guile. Mm -hmm. It says, For they are without fault before the throne of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is another thing that the elect would do. They're not going to have no guile found in their mouth. Matter of fact, we can get that word guile real quick. Huh. In the Greek, the word dolos, which means craft, deceit. Mm. It also goes into subtility. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Trick, bait. <laughs> in the Strong's definition, say trick or bait decoy you know so they, they, they ain't got oh, no yeah. no trick they, they ain't trying to trick you they ain't got no trickery they not sly you know what i'm saying like they're not trying to trap you into something you know what i'm saying like the lick they're gonna be uh sincere sincere they're gonna be they're gonna have unfeigned love man and unfeigned uh and unfeigned sincerity you know what i'm saying they're gonna be pure you know what i'm saying like they ain't gonna mm -hmm. have no ill intentions towards no one mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they're not gonna want to see no one fall or see someone steer away from you know the right way they're gonna always like uh have the you know the best intentions for 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 others you know mm -hmm. kind of they're gonna be crafty you know trying to you know uh trying to uh turn things twist scriptures around to fit their own causes you know filthy they're not gonna go after filthy lucre mm -hmm. you know kind of their own base game you mm. know Mm. So that's that's a key indicator to watch with someone who, you know, proclaims to be a hope or the hopeful lick, mm -hmm. you know, but they're, uh, you know, they're 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 switching and twisting things around to fit their own narratives and their own, mm -hmm. uh, you know, purposes. Right. You gotta you gotta watch people like that. You know, that's those ravaging ravening wolves mm. that Apostle Paul was speaking about. You know, mm. not yep. sparing the flock. Right. Y'all should say I send you as sheep in Mr. Wolves. You know, this is be harmless as a mm, as a dove. Harmless, yep. You know, uh, wise as a serpent. Right. You know, roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we, I mean, if you go into that word God, I think one of the words there was uh, was craft, mm -hmm. subtility. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And you know, the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field. Yep. You know, so we we, we could be uh, subtle. You know, we could be wise and prudent, but mm -hmm. we have to be harmless. We gotta be right. on the right hand side. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yep. We can't. Like uh, just our nature, all Jake will utterly supplant. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, just like uh, particular gifts that was given to Esau, that that same thing could be a stumbling block. Mm -hmm. Just that that uh, that nature of supplant. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We can't use that supplanting nature to try to get over. Mm -hmm. All right, especially when you're about Shimon Shah, that's oh, yeah. not gonna happen. Ooh, we, hell nah. <laughs> all right, but you know, just on, on your, your people brother, either. Yeah, yeah. right, trying to uh, come up, make yeah, it, make yeah. a come up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Trying to get acknowledged. You know what I'm saying? Be looked at as someone. You know more than what you are, you know what I'm saying? Right. Scripture says to use this world is not abusing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Uh, I got uh, Zephaniah three and thirteen to page it up. Okay. This is in uh, Zephaniah chapter three and verse thirteen. It says, "The remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies; neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth." For they shall feed and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Right, yeah, so uh, the remnant of Israel, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, they're not going to have any deceit nor guile found in their mouth. And that's, uh, that backs up uh, that backs up uh, Revelations 14 and 5. They're not going to do iniquity, so they're not going to be doing wickedness. They're not going to be plowing into wickedness. You know, they're not going to be committing sin after sin. They're not going to be living a life of sin like you be saying, you know. Mm -hmm. They're not going to speak lies. They're not going to be lying. You know what I'm saying? Because we know all liars want to have their place in the lake of fire. So if you out here lying, you know, that, that's not a trait of the elect, a elect mm -hmm. member, you know. Right. Neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, you know, because mm -hmm. we know in James the third chapter they tell you about how the tongue is a little member, but it's mm -hmm. set up on fire things. You know what I'm saying? Yep. 
So, you know, the, the elect, even though the tongue is a small member, they're going to control they, uh, they tongue. Like I tell you in James, the first chapter, you know what I'm saying? Any man, uh, a bridal list song. Can we get that one real quick, Doc? Oh, my God. Like, the way you're speaking, the way you're, sp like, the elect, they're going to speak in a certain type of manner. You know what I'm saying? The elect ain't just going to be fly off the handle with their tongue. You know what I'm saying? Right. They're going to make sure they're not lying. They make, make sure they're not being deceitful or, or sub to, <clears> and they're going to make sure they're not, uh, you know, abusing someone with their tongue, you know? Mm hmm This is James 1, 26. If any man among you seem to be religious and bridleth not his tongue, but deceiveth his own heart, this man's religion is vain. Right. <laughs> this man's service is vain. If a man can't keep his tongue in check, then... It's, it's a good it's a good chance that he probably not of the elect. You know what I'm saying? If right. you if you can't control your tongue, because this is something that's specifically spoken on. Mm -hmm. It's specifically said their tongue is not gonna have no deceit in it. They're not gonna speak lies. No gal was found in the hundred and forty four thousand's mouth. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that's specific. You know, so mm -hmm. your tongue you have to be able to control your tongue to be a part of the elect. You know, and that's what the elect would be doing. They'd be controlling their tongue, man. You know, by that words, thou should be justified. Ooh. And by that words, thou should be condemned. Mm. Beautiful. Yep, I got one. Um, God. That one in Psalms 32. Okay, God. I'm going to read it for you. Gotcha. It's uh, Psalms chapter 32. You want me to start from one or two? Con. God. It's uh, Psalms chapter 32, verse one. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Right. So, hey, this is something that the elect... Are gonna have this uh this blessing it says blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven you know whose sin is covered you know so you know if you want to be uh literal you know what i'm saying i mean a lot of men who we would deem as the elect you know went off you know like we mentioned king david solomon you know paul he was he, hey man you know what i'm saying persecuting the church, persecuting the church man most notorious scoffer mm -hmm. you know but the elect are going to have, all right, the transgressions forgiven as if it didn't even happen. Like we brought out, was it Zephaniah, the uh, chapter, the third chapter? Mm -hmm. You know, where it says they, uh, the remnant of Israel shall not do iniquity. Mm -hmm. You know, you got it. All right, brother. Yep. It says, blessed is the man unto whom the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Come you know. So this is what, what's, what's going to be at, when it's all said and done. <clears throat> Like you mentioned, uh, like you quoted that scripture, you know, by the words that should be justified. Mm -hmm. Particular men are going to be justified. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, ultimately, you know, we, we have to correct ourselves. It starts with repentance. That's why it's so big. You know, Paul, he repented. You know, David repented. You know, that that's what it's all about. Right. You no, know, it's not like they they literally haven't done iniquity. You know, it was prophesied, you know, in Second Samuel 7 chapter, if he does iniquity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But. That doesn't mean that he's not the elect. It means right. that the Most High justified him as mm -hmm. if he didn't even do it. If that right. makes sense. Yep. You know, it's all about the spirit. It says, in whose spirit there's no guile. Mm -hmm. So not having no guile found in their mouth, that's what it's talking about, man. Through, through the spirit, you know, because the elect are going to truly repent when it's all said and done. You know, particular camps, we could look at, you know, men who, who are doing the work of a false prophet, you know, they, they could they could repent. You know, they have, they have a lying tongue right now, but Lord willing, when, it, when it's all said and done, they would repent. You know, and their transgression would be, be covered. Mm -hmm. You know, it would be uh, forgiven. Yep. God, it's a lot. You got it. Yeah, you good? Um, you get some Rock 14 and 2 for me? Oh, for sure. Yep. This is in the uh, book of Sirach, chapter 14, verse 2. It says. Oh, you might as well read one. It's a lot. Kind of. It's kind. Sirach 14, it says, verse 1 Blessed is the man that have not slipped with his mouth. Blessed is the man that has not slipped with his mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're going to be blessed. God. And is not pricked with the multitude of sins. Yeah, not being pricked with the multitude of sins. That's the that's the whole part about it. Like it's not like the elect has not sinned or you know, not going to sin. You know, but they they're they're not going to be pricked with it. They're not they're not going to continue in sin. Okay, they're not going to willfully sin. You know, and they're not going to be pricked with their old sins. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna mm -hmm. uh they're gonna bypass that. You know, they're gonna overcome that. You know. Mm -hmm. All right. Right, like how shall he said to that woman, um, neither do I condemn thee. It reminds me of a scripture I was going to bring in the lesson. I was talking about the castaway, the reprobate. Mm -hmm. 
because Yahusha was like, neither do I condemn thee. Right. You know what I'm saying? And he said, go and sin no more. Right. That's what it's about. Repenting. It, like, like the if you truly repent, you, you, you're not only sorry for what you did, but you're not going to just continue to do it. Right. I mean, God, huh? how are you sorry? If you just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. sorry that I'm going to continue to do it. <laughs> God, huh? Yep. Yep. Uh, I can read two for you. Kind of, yeah. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Yeah, so the elect, they're going to, um, they're, they're, their conscience is not going to condemn them. And that's why their spirit is not, uh, that's, that's why their spirit is going to be pure, you know, because their conscience has not condemned them. You know what I'm saying? Like, if your conscience is condemning you, <clears> then you're going to be like, what's the point of me uh, purifying myself? You know, you purifying yourself through repentance, through the word, you know, by taking heed there too, you know, which goes together. You know what I'm saying? But you mm -hmm. can't purify yourself if you're if you're continually uh, condemning yourself within your conscience. You know, if, if you've fallen from your hope in the Lord, man, the Lord, man, I ain't got no hope that the Lord going to get me. The the, the, the elect, they're going to have pris they're, they're prisoners of hope. You know what I'm saying? The elect going to live by their faith. Mm -hmm. So you got you have to have that hope. Mm -hmm. So, if you, you know what I'm saying? The, the elect is going to have they're going to have faith and hope that even though they, they they're not worthy of it. You know, Lord willing, Yahabashim Yahshua will, will justify them. You know, mm. God, nah. yeah, the scripture says to believe as the scriptures say, mm -hmm. you know, the first priest ever brought out, you know, it goes to, to those who's going to be saved, you know, by their works and by faith, you know, whereby they have believed, you know, that's something that, uh, you know, we, we, we don't know if, if we believe, but by our works, you know, that that's how that thing is uh, being, that, that's that proof, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's that substance that things hope for, yep. you know what I'm saying? That's that faith, man. You know, and that's how we see it is by the works. Yep. You know, it's like, um, yeah, you good, bro? Um, oh, yeah, uh, I get one more from uh, Romans, because Romans 8 and 31 or 33. Let me make sure. Probably 31. Uh, I know you get Romans 8 and 31. Okay, 33. Yeah, kind of 33. That's the one, yeah. This is uh, Romans 8 and 33. It says, Who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? Mm -hmm. It is the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that justifieth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, just like the brother Kabar was saying, like at the end of the day, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, he gonna justify whom he wanna justify, man. And the ones he gonna justify are the ones who are not condemned in their own conscience, man. Those who are not continuing within sin, those who uh, are not uh, laying again the foundation of repentance. You know what I'm saying? Those who repent, you know, stay repentive, you know, and continue to examine themselves and get all the kinks. And all the old men up off of them so they can be justified. That's what the elect gonna do. They're gonna continue to grow within righteousness. They're gonna continue to grow within repentance. And they're gonna continue with within growth of atonement, you know? Mm hmm mm. Yep. And that's and that's what's gonna have them justified, you know. Their continual efforts, you know, within within righteousness, you know. Kind of. Okay, we got Matthew 15. Uh, it's uh Matthew chapter 15 and verse 8. It says Is this, it 8? What's oh, like your brother? I'm not sure. I think it's 18. Oh yeah, Salakia, bro. My fault. <laughs> Salakia. This uh Matthew chapter 15, verse 18. It says, But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart. And they defiled the man. Calm. So we brought out in Revelation 14 and 4, was it where it talks about, you know, uh, they are not defiled. Okay. Where it says woman. Ultimately, you know, this right here is describing, all right, uh, things that defile a man. You got it. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man. Right. So these are the things, all right, that the elect are going to be uh, purging, you know, these things, all right, like evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, okay, blasphemies, all right, that lying tongue, you know what I'm saying? That hatred, you know, that malice, you know, evil thoughts, you know, which, uh, particular scriptures go into evil thoughts, you know, that's really a uh, pride, that sums it all up, really. Mm -hmm. You know yep. what I'm saying? Having that pride. You know what I'm saying? Um, arrogancy, which is the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know? It's, it says fornications. Okay? It says thefts. Let me see that word in the Greek. It just says theft. 
But we know St. John 10 tells you, you know what a thief does. You know, he he, he, he doesn't have any, any love in his heart. That's for sure. Mm. That, that's something that's going to defile a man. If you're looking at someone and you're trying to take what he got, you know, you're basically being covetous. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? False witness. You're basically a devil, man. Pseudo martria, that's what it says in the Greek for false witness. Mm -hmm. So you're a, you're a pseudo a pseudo witness, a false witness, mm. false testimony. Mm. Whew. You know, Jake talked about that testimony of Yahweh Shah. A lot of Jake, they they false they false witnesses out mm -hmm. here, man. You know, that's just part of it. You know, not everyone in the uh, not everyone who's preaching the word is the elect. You know, mm -hmm. just by uh, getting out there in the house and byways doing videos. That's why, you know, we we, uh, we hope we're the elect, you know, none of us uh, know for sure, you know, but we're trying to rehearse these acts, you know, to do the things that the elect would do, mm. you know. Did you, did you, you did you just read in Proverbs 6? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. You trying to get it? Yeah, kind of, Bible can <laughs> Kind of. Um, could, could you get one quick one for me real quick, too? You got? Just to back up a point you just made, uh, Proverbs 24 and 9. Okay. Proverbs 24 and verse 9. It says, the thought of foolishness is sin, mm -hmm. and the scorner is an abomination to men. Right, so the, the, the late, they're not even going to have no uh, sinful thoughts. You know what I'm saying? They're not even going to have thoughts like, oh, I'm going to go do some, some wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. of course, you might have a thought that run through you, but immediately the late, they're going to reject it. They're going to be like, right. oh, that's Satan. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, no. Nah. You know, even if it's trying to linger there, you're going to be fighting it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not just going to be sitting here, like, wandering and pondering on uh, on, on sin. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, because the, the thought of the, the thought of that is sin. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just right. to be thinking like that is sinful. So, the mm -hmm. elect, they're they going to even be reproving their reproving mm -hmm. their thoughts, mm -hmm. you know? Yep. Mortifying those members. Nah, nah. Yep. Yep. And that's why Paul, he he went uh, he went to things like this a lot, you know? Yeah. And he, he really got that from me, how was I? You know, we see that, uh. You know, and he's a follower. He followed the land with us over he goes. Mm -hmm. You know, he was kind of, you know, um, reiterating things that Yahweh said. You know, the things that defile a man, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's like the root, the, the, the root of the matter. You know, you don't commit sin. That's the, uh, a thought has to happen first. So we have to attack, you know, that the root of the whole problem, you know, which is that thought. Yep. Um, yeah, we get uh, Proverbs 6 and 16. This is Proverbs 6 and verse 16. It says, These six things that the Lord Yahweh hate, yeah, seven are an abomination unto him. Mm -hmm. A proud look. So the elect ain't gonna have no proud looks. You know what I'm saying? A lot of guys be having prideful ass looks too. I was thinking about <laughs> yeah. that the other day. I'd be like just looking at some of some of these brothers. I'd be like, what the you know what I'm saying? Like, you just you just you just think you're somebody <laughs> out here. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, huh? Just like, yeah, I'm that guy. You right. know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, yeah, see. <laughs> the look that the elect wouldn't be doing it though. You know what I'm saying? Kinda okay, not. A lying tongue. A lying tongue again. So mm -hmm. the, the the heavenly father he hates like uh you you misusing your tongue. You know what I'm saying? Because the tongue is a weapon. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. And hands that shed innocent blood. And hands that shed uh innocent blood. And you can see, if you hate your brother in your heart, you a murderer, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, and, and even on top of that, if you defraud your bread from the needy, you're a murderer, man. Tell you that in uh, Sirach, the 36th chapter, he that holdeth back his bread from the needy is a, is a blood shedder. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So if you if you get an opportunity to give of yourself, you know, within those spiritual gifts that was bestowed upon you within, you know, which is faith, charity, you know, love, joy, peace, gentleness, meekness, you know, temperance, and you don't exercise that, man, you're you, you like, you like a blood shedder, man, mm. you know? Mm. And heart that devises wicked imaginations. A heart that devises wicked imagination. Mm -hmm. It's it's a devise of it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. you plotting on it. You know, it's a difference between like you uh having thoughts, but you like actually like plotting to do something with those thoughts. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you're you're trying to formulate something in your mind. Like you're you're pre you're premeditating something uh, uh that you want to do to someone or, mm -hmm. or, or or do. You know what I'm saying? That's what mm -hmm. really makes it wicked. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The premeditation of it. Right. You know? Right. In the Hebrew, uh, that word is uh, karash. For divisive? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Karash. It goes into to cut in. Um, the one I've seen, it says to plot evil. Ooh. You see? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you like actually plotting it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're, you're like, you're premeditating it. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like, oh, I'm going to do this. 
this how I'm gonna do it. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna, I'm a, so I can get away with it, and then I can get over on somebody too. Mm-hmm. You know, but that's that's mm-hmm. highly wicked to get how about shooting outside because that's super disrespectful. Like I see what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't care if you're like keeping it under wraps to where it can't be seen. I see you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's like spitting in your how about shooting outside face, man. You know. Mm-hmm. Feet that be swift and running to mischief. Yeah, feet that are swift and running to mischief. <laughs> like you quick to like go do some. You know what I'm saying? Some wicked stuff, man. You know, which these are examples of wickedness right here. Like you quick to have a proud look. You quick to just spew out stuff with your tongue. You quick to shed innocent blood. You know, you quick to devise something wicked within your imagination. You know? Try not. Yep. Mischief. That's the same word for evil and wicked. Mm. Uh, the word rye. Mm. Yep. 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 So it really sudden. Yeah, you know? pretty much. Kind. It says, verse 19, a false witness that speaketh lies. <laughs> what you was just going into. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Being the false witness. The the elect not going to be false witnesses. They're going to be the witnesses. Right. True witnesses. Yeah, right? kind. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And he that soweth discord among brethren. Yeah, because the elect, they're going to endeavor to keep the bond of peace among brethren. Well, that's the fruit, one of the fruits of the spirit. Peace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And plus, the uh, the elect, they're going to suffer for righteousness sake. So the elect, they're going to be defrauded. Even if they're in the right, they, they're going to let somebody else have it just for the sake of, uh, um, you know, uh, being persecuted. Of course, they're not going to stand for wickedness. You know what I'm saying? But they're not going to try to overthrow wickedness with, uh, you know, fleshly things. You know, they're going to overcome wickedness with the spirit. You know, and a lot of times how you overcome it is by just taking stuff on the chin, you know? Mm-hmm. That's really mm-hmm. how you overcome it. You can't really beat. You can't really beat wickedness by, you know, coming back any other type of way. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You just gotta really just take it, you know, and let Yahavashim Hashem fight for you. You know. Mhm. God, huh? Yeah, that was it. Huh? Just wanted to get because you was quoting that, and you yeah. know, the, the, the let they not gonna be doing these things, man. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because mm-hmm. these are the things that the Heavenly Father hates, man. You know. Right. Yep. Elect are gonna make sure, you know, that they're not gonna be doing these things, man. Nah, bro. You know, and if they do, they're, they're gonna repent from these things. Right, right. Yep. Kind of. They're not gonna find an excuse according to their own will. Mm. Yep. You know? Kind of. Get it wrong, it's 8 and 28. Kind of. This is Romans chapter 8 and verse 28. It says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, to them who are. The called according to his purpose. Mm-hmm. That was on the list. Yep. God. Okay. <laughs> God. I mean, you know, I, you know, I was thinking about the scripture earlier when we because we we read verse uh, thirty one, thirty three. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I was thinking about because it, it really goes into you know predestination. Yep. You know. Mm-hmm. It says, "For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son." That he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Come on. So it's a couple of things we see. You know, verse 28, it says, all right, we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh Bashim Shah. So that's one thing, you know. You have to love Yahweh Bashim Shah. I mean, that's like the great commandment according right. to uh, Yahweh Shah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? To them who are called according to his purpose. And it goes into it, you know. Those who are called, all right, it says, um, who he did for notices he did predestinate mm-hmm. to be conformed yep. to the image of his son so the elect are going to be conformed all right to the image all right of yahweh shai yep. you know that image all right that's the word icon in the greek you know the figure likeness image all right used of moral likeness mm-hmm. okay um it's right here it says the image of the son of god unto which true christians all right which only israelites could be christians mm-hmm. are transformed See that? So we got to be transformed. If, if, if we're uh, predestined to be conformed, all right? I mean, <laughs> we're not in his likeness just walking down the block doing anything we want. Nah, man. We have to be we have to be transformed, all right, to the likeness of Yahweh Shah, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Come in that same image, man. Mm-hmm. I like this one. The last one, it says, to Christ on account of his divine nature and absolute moral excellence. Mm-hmm. What word it was? That's an icon image. Oh, okay, kind of, yeah. You know, like Jada said, you know, icon living. Mm. We have to be, we have to be uh, that image, man. 
Mm-hmm. We have to be conform. Like, you know, uh, I don't know if I had Genesis 1 in there. Yeah, but, you know, you know. man, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what it boils down to. We were, the elect are, are created, all right, in the image, all right, of the Alahayim, you know? It's like a, a, a splitting image, a mirror looking at each other, man. That's how it's supposed to be. Right. You know? Because the elect are the Alahayim, if you, if you receive it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. It says, verse 30, it says, Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. You got it? Ah, yes. Yeah, so those who are uh, justified, you know, those who uh, so like you, those who who are predestinated, those are the ones who call. You have to be predestinated to be called. But it says many are called, but few are chosen. You know. So uh, first mm -hmm. and foremost, the elect they're gonna uh, be trying to strive for their calling. You know, mm -hmm. but they have to be predestinated to even be called. You know, and then in whom he called, then them he also justified. In whom he called, them he also justified if they were chosen. You know, of the call, it says, mm -hmm. in whom he justified them, he also glorified. And they're going to be glorified. Why are they going to be glorified? Because they're going to be justified. Why are they going to be justified? Because they're going to be walking in that image. They're going to be walking in the image of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, you know, the firstborn of all creatures, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the one who overcame death, you know, and through, uh, through walking in their spirit, they're going to overcome death, you know, and they're going to be glorified just like our Lord was glorified, like I speak about in Romans. 8 and uh, 17 about being joint ears mm -hmm. you know yep okay. uh, you, I think the next one is uh, you'll get the next one from uh, Genesis 1 and 26 okay, not. this is in the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26 it says and the power said let us make man in our image mm -hmm. after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth, okay, upon the earth. You know, it says, come, let us like make man in our image. All right. So that's basically, all right, the first, the first man, all right, that was made in the image. All right. Talking about, you know, Adam. All right. He was made in the image. All right. Of the Allah Hayim. You know, that word God here is Allah Hayim, you know. You know, which you know, the heathens, you know, they say Elohim, you know, certain Jakes say that, you know, but I'll say they Gentiles if they saying that, you know, because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Paleo Hebrew, you know, that's something, you know, that we have, man. This is a pure language, man. You know, so Allah you know, that's plural. It goes into rulers, judges, divine ones, angels, yeah. gods, yeah. God like one. Yeah. It goes into work, special oh, God like one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, God, the, the image. image. Yep, that's right. So we're going to be in, in, that, in that same image, man, you know, and it just makes sense to follow the land with us wherever you go. If, all right. That that's basically how this thing is supposed to be, you know, because Yahweh Shah, you know, he 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 comes. He, he's in the same. He uh, was it? he said, in, uh, was it St. John 10, you know, that him and his father are one, you know, because he comes in that same the same energy he comes in that, that same spirit, man, you know, being long suffering, man. You know, having that unfeigned love, all right, for the whole nation. You know, that's something that Yahusha had because that's something that the Most High had, you know. So that's ultimately something, all right, that the elect, the chosen, all right, just how how Adam was chosen out of all people, all right, to be made in the image, mm -hmm. you know. This this that's what comes that's what comes with it, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. It says verse twenty seven, so the powers created man in his own image, and the image of the powers created they him. Male and female created they him. Mm. You know? So this right here even tells you, I mean, you know, it's a man and woman. You know, even Genesis, the fifth chapter, not to stray off, but, you know, they were both called Adam. That's why we know it's a nation of people. You know, they're like the proto-Israelites. Mm -hmm. You know, they were chosen, you know, the, the sons of God, you know, the children of God, you know? So... You see how low willingness making sense, man. The spirit bear witness, like we read, well, we kind of mentioned that scripture in uh, Romans the eighth chapter, you know, mm -hmm. verse seventeen. You know, verse sixteen tells you the spirit bear witness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's that's basically what it boils down to, man. Really, really, uh, coming, uh, inspiring, you know, to be in that spirit. That's what that's what we want to do. 
you know, we, we, we got the playbook. You know, I had a lesson, uh, I ain't put it together, but something like on the long lines of an open book exam. Mm. Right now, we got all the answers. You know, we don't got the same excuses that uh, men in the Bible, you mm. know, they, they, they went off. You know, yeah. they didn't have the scriptures. So right. we, we don't, we don't, we don't have that excuse. Yeah, yeah. I wish I said greater works you should do than these. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Say, so, well, uh, we have become uh, wiser than our teachers, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? So to whom much is given, much is required. Mm. Right. He was given a lot. God, God, yep. <laughs> you know? God. Right. We was given the oracles of Yahabashim Hasha. Mm -hmm. we, we see things that was written for in samples, you yeah. know? For for us, man. Upon whom the ends of the world are coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mysteries has been hidden from ages. You know what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying? Yep. So we, we uh the elect below one we those men, you know, are gonna really be, you know, putting on as the elect as the scriptures go into, man. Yep. Truly doing those things all right that the elect will be doing yep. you know there's really no excuse oh you smell something yeah <laughs> i'm thinking this smell out me that's nice all right uh, yeah, yeah it's gotta, coming through the vent <laughs> yeah, I gotta, yeah i gotta get that lord willing huh. it's um saint john chapter 3 and verse 15 it says that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. God, you know? So, being the elect, we, we know what that's what goes into having eternal life, you know? But it says, whosoever believeth in him, all right, should not perish. Mm -hmm. So, it starts with being a believer, you know? A lot of times, all right, in the scriptures, that's, that's how things are grouped together, especially in the New Testament, being a believer or a non-believer, you know? Amongst our people, of course, you know, because that goes without saying, you know, if you truly know what the scriptures are talking about, it's all about Israel anyway. But the believers, you know, th th that's where it starts, man. The elect are going to truly believe, man, you know, and within that, you know, Lord willing, we those men, we're not going to perish, man, but have eternal life, man. Okay, I get it for you. This is in Luke 12 and verse 46. It says, Yahweh shall speak, it says, The Lord of that servant will come in a day when he looketh not for him, and at an hour when he is not aware, and will cut him in asunder, and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. Right, so yeah, you could be a, a believer, but you're not uh, adding uh, you're not adding works, works to your belief, yep. like you brought out uh, earlier when we mm -hmm. kicked this off in 2 Ezra 9 and 7, you know what I'm saying, in, in 8, you know, mm -hmm. those who are going to be preserved from the said perils, they're going to be preserved through their faith and their works. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't uh, put um, works with your faith, then you're going to ultimately be uh, appointed uh, your portion with those who are unfaithful. You know, so you have to add works to your belief, you know, or you're going to perish, you mm. know. Straight like that. That's really how you show you believe, you know. Right. Right. Yep. So I say, why callest thou me Lord, Lord, and do not the things that I say? Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You don't. You you believe in the Lord, but you're not doing what the Lord told you to do to not perish. You that means you truly don't believe. Him, you know. Kind. Not as the scriptures say. <laughs> kind. Of. All right. Right. The devils believe. You know. <laughs> kind. Of. Oh, they did. What they said? You come to get me before my time. You kind. Know what of. I'm Right, him I know. <laughs> God, How shy I know. God, uh, Who yeah. are you? <laughs> God. It's a lot. Yep, good, bro. What you got? Uh, Second Peter 1 and 10. Come on, I agree with you if you want. Come on. This is in Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. It says, Wherefore the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. It says give diligence to make your calling and election sure if ye do these things. So, hold on, that's more than uh, giving your diligence. It said give diligence to make your calling and election sure. That was one thing. But it said if you do these things, mm. you should not fail. So it was, it's it's a, uh, it's some guidelines that go. This is more than just giving diligence. Mm -hmm. You have to give diligence in something, you know, which it tell you when you read up. What you got to give diligence in, you got to give diligence in uh godliness you got to give diligence within brotherly kindness you have to give diligence within charity you have to give diligence within temperance and patience you know you have to give uh diligence within being faithful and virtue virtuous you have, you have to give diligence within uh being knowledgeable you know and it tells you how to do it by adding those things together by combining those things together mm -hmm. you know this is how you are going to uh this is how you're gonna not this this is how you give diligence to make your call in the election sure 
You know, this is mm -hmm. the works that you have to add mm -hmm. to your faith. You know, mm. yeah. I just <laughs> brothers just bring this out. Give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Oh, <laughs> see, that's all you gotta do. Is just give diligence. Yeah. Give diligence in what? Right. You know. Right. <laughs> Can not throw up a whole bunch of videos? You know what I'm saying? Right. Just Go to camp a bunch of times. Right. He's still doing them things, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> He's still doing that, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> so, obviously, that, yeah, that, that's not the works. This right here is the works, man. Come on, bro. This is what you give diligence in, man. If you don't want to do it, then you don't want to be saved. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. You know, whosoever believe in him shall not perish. You know? Mm -hmm. Do what he told you to do. Because mm -hmm. when you read verse 9, it say, uh, I mean, verse 8, it tell you that you should never be unfruitful. And the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashak, if you mm. do those things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But you need to be fruitful. Because when Yahweh Shah come back, that's what he's looking for. He's looking for those trees with those fruits, mm. you know, which is the works. Right. You that, know, that good fruit. Yep. Kind of not. Yeah. You know, Jake Love, um, you know, the idea of having spiritual powers, you know, my, myself, you know, as well. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, this is really it, you know? Reverse four it talks about being partakers of the divine nature, mm. you know, really being being godlike, you mm -hmm. know, being higher than just a regular human being. Right. You know, these are the things that we need to do, yep. you know, in order to uh, obtain that divine nature, man. Yep. And the elect will be doing that, man. Yep. Yep. Oh, oh we got Galatians. Uh, like Colossians three and twelve and fourteen. I agree with you if you want. Time. Colossians three and verse twelve. It says. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yeah, put on, therefore, as the elect. Uh, I wonder if that word put on together. Mm hmm. Ooh, it's crazy because I, I didn't even know this definition, but I was going to say, I just didn't say it. I was thinking in my mind, like, oh, keep your garments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> kind. <laughs> put right. on your garment. <laughs> yeah. Sink into clothing. Ooh. Put on, clothe oneself. So you don't be walking naked, mm. you know, so you don't, they don't see your mm -hmm. shame. That's what the scriptures say. Keep thy garments white. You know, how do you keep your garments white? By walking as the elect. So how do you uh, put your garment on? How do you put your white garment on and don't stain it? Stain it. Well, let's, let's, let's read this. It's going to tell you. Come. Put on, therefore, as the elect of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. holy and beloved. Holy and beloved. Bowels of mercies. Bowels of mercies. Kindness. Kindness. Humbleness of mind. Humbleness of mind. Meekness. Meekness. Long suffering. Long suffering. Forbearing one another. Uh -huh. And forgiving one another. Uh -huh. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as the Mashiach forgave you, so also do ye. There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's how you keep your gar uh, your garment white. You know what I'm saying? That's how you keep your clothing on. You know, that's how you know uh you don't stain your raiment. You know what I'm saying? That's how you do it right there by walking within kindness, you know, having humbleness of mind. You know, being meek, you know, having bowels of mercies, being separate, you know, being patient, having long sufferings, you know, by forbearing others, you know, by forgiving others, you know, by not not beefing and having quarrels, you know, mm -hmm. that's how you keep your uh, your, your garment white. Kind of. That's how you put on. Yep. Yep. And, you know, brothers hear this and, it, you know, it sounds easy and simple. Right. But when it, the situation really gets to it, <laughs> you got the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to do to do good, to forgive your brother. Yep. You know what I'm saying? To really be long suffering. Yep. To be humble. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. You know, that the elect are, are going to be doing that, though. Yeah, bro. Yep. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. And above all these things, mm -hmm. put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. Yeah, that's what it said. That's what uh, makes your garment... Uh, you know, no, ain't got no wrinkles in it. You know what I'm saying? It's completely uh like fresh linen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like fresh off the press. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That's right. Oh God, it's like <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like how Biggie said with the hat to match. Like this, <laughs> like you gotta, you yeah. gotta have that. It says yeah. above all these things, yep. what are we putting on? Charity. Mm. That's what we putting on. As the elect, you putting on charity. Yep. Yep. Yeah. That's the uh. That's what. That's the side. That's the uh. Tip, the tip. The tip off of the outfit. You know what I'm saying? It's like what to spice it off. You know, it's like some fresh kicks or like you see a fresh hat or a fresh belt. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or the or, or the or the uh or the ornament the the neck the, the nice gold chain the on ornament. the top. Yep. You know what yep. I'm saying? Kind. Kind. Not. Huh? Yep. Yep. This is what makes the outfit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is what makes the garment. Yeah, Charity, man. Yep. 
you know, because you know already know. First Corinthians 13. I don't know if I had on it, but this right here. Yeah, that's next. It's like you've been quoting like all your precepts. Like. <laughs> that's the <that's> spirit. <laughs> yeah, God, uh. God, not. Yeah, this is, this is big. You know, the elect will be putting charity on. Mm. <laughs> Just like that, man. All right, bro. I got a quick one. Yep. First, uh, first Peter 4 and 8. Kind of first Peter 4 and verse 8, it mm -hmm. says, And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, mm -hmm. for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Fine. Yeah, so uh, charity is going to cover a multitude of sins. You know, so how is the elect going to be justified? Because they're going to have a multitude of their sins covered. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> how hard are they going to cover a multitude of their sins? By walking in charity, man. You know, mm -hmm. they're going to they have fervent charity. Like in Romans 12, chapter when they say be fervent in spirit. You know, being a part of being fervent in spirit is uh, putting on as the lake, walking within charity, you know, walking within love, man. You know, mm -hmm. kind of not. It's kind of like how the opposite, they have it out here with, uh, you know, when Jake, um, when Jake uh, dies or like gets killed or whatever, they they basically paint him out to be like they look at the things that he did wrong mm -hmm. instead of the things that he actually did good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, in the grand scheme, the elect, you know, it's it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, the good works are gonna outweigh all right those bad works, mm. you know, and those good works that's that's charity, you mm. know, because love is doing good, mm -hmm. you know. So really, you know, what I'm saying those good works is gonna be it's gonna outshine. All right, yeah, you know, he committed adultery when he was young, or he did this, he stole, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. He was a liar, you know, he was a fornicator, you know what I'm saying? But he ended up having that fervent charity, you know, he did uh, deeds for the elect, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was, you know what I'm saying? He he put his life on the line for his people, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, just as as an example, you know what I'm saying? Most high, he would forgive somebody based off of that, based on uh, that charity. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a lot. Um, you good, bro? Um, I was gonna get. Well, yeah. Let me let me just get uh, uh, Sirach thirty five and sixteen and seventeen real quick. I just wanna make a quick point. Kind of. This is Sirach thirty five, and you said fifteen or sixteen. Uh, 16, sixteen and seventeen. Okay, kind of. It's uh, Sirach 35 and verse 16. It says, He that serveth the Lord shall be accepted with favor, mm -hmm. and his prayer shall reach unto the clouds. Yeah, so that's another thing, too, that they're going to be doing just to throw this in here. They're going to be uh, praying. They're going to be having a fervent prayer. Mm -hmm. Because when you mm -hmm. read up in um, verse 7, um, what we just read in First Peter the fourth chapter, they tell you about uh, being sober because the, uh, uh, all the end is it is it. The end of all things is at hand, you know what I'm saying? And then it says, uh, so watch unto prayer, mm. you know what I'm saying? So the the elect, they're going to constantly pray. They're going to be complaining, for, praying for their brothers. They're going to be praying for their people to come up out of, uh, you know, uh, out of out of darkness. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be praying for themselves, you know what I'm saying, to continue to walk uh, in, in in a manner which Yahweh Hashem Yashah would be pleased with. And also uh, for mercy, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like this is something they're going to be doing. Mm. Yep. The prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds until it come nigh. He will not be comforted. Mm -hmm. It says until it come nigh, he will not be comforted and will not depart till the most high shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. Right. So that's a part of uh, how uh, Yahweh is going to redeem us. You know what I'm saying? It's through our prayers, man. So them prayers is important. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Just throwing that in there, you know, because them prayers... The prayers of the humble, which the elect, the elect going to be humble, because it tell you how about Shema Shabbat give of grace unto the humble, right. resist the proud. So the, the mm. elect, they're going to be walking in the humble spirit. Mm. Who, who is the Yahweh about Shema Shabbat nigh unto those who are of a contrite spirit and a broken heart? Like you were speaking about earlier, those who are mm -hmm. constantly uh, sorrowful and repentive, you mm -hmm. know, for the things that they have been doing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? They're, they're going to be praying, begging for mercy. And, you know, through those prayers, they're, they're, they're just sending up within uh, sincerity. Yahweh mm -hmm. Shem Yahweh Shah is going to bring forth a uh, redemption for them, you know? Mm. Yep. Just adding that point in. Kind of not. Because that prayer is important, you know? That's right. Yeah, he heareth the prayers of the righteous, mm -hmm. you know? God, bro. Yeah, that's, that's definitely needed, man. God. You know, like they say in the world, communication is key. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yep. You got to be plugged in. Got to be in tune yep. with our power, man. Alright. So you got first Corinthians thirteen. Start at four. Kind of. Not. It's first Corinthians chapter thirteen, verse four. It says, "Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. Is not puffed up." 
Khan, you know, so we brought out in Colossians, the third chapter, you know, in first, uh, second Peter, the first chapter, you know, that um, charity is definitely uh, needed. You know, you, and it was also first Peter, the fourth chapter we brought mm -hmm. out. Yep. You know, the charity, that's something that's needed, man. Mm -hmm. You have to put on charity as the elect. That's yep. the bond of perfectness. Yep. You know, you have to have that fervent charity amongst the brethren. Yep. You know, that's how you have that multitude of sins. Right. Right. And this right here right, is describing what charity is. It, it ain't. Ain't, it ain't just uh, one thing. We can't just boil it down to one thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it's just one thing, you could just say, how is I? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Or the most high. God yeah. is love, right? Like the scriptures say. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But breaking it down so we can have an understanding of what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's talking about, man. Charity suffers long. Uh, That's what charity does, man. It's long suffering. It's kind. Okay? Mm -hmm. Envy if not. Mm -hmm. You ain't, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let's get that word. Zello. <laughs> It says, burn with zeal, to be heated or boil with envy, mm. hatred, anger. Mm. See that? So it goes into hatred, man. No, that's the opposite. <laughs> that's the opposite of charity, man. Right. It's the envy, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It says, vaunt if not itself. Vaunt if that goes into boast oneself. Mm. 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 That's that's why you got to have the humblest of mind like we brought out mm -hmm. in, uh, Colossians was, in Colossians 3. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the humblest of mind. That's the things that we need to put on. Yep. You know, that humbleness, that's a whole a whole lesson, man, being humble. Yahusha, he called the little child, you mm -hmm. know, basically said, this is, you got to be humble as this little child, man, right. to be the greatest in the kingdom. Yep. You know, so that's needed to be humble. That, that's what charity embodies, man, being mm -hmm. humble. Mm -hmm. You know, it says it's not puffed up. So it's an emphasis. Right. You're not puffed up. You're not vaunted for yourself, man. Mm -hmm. Right, kind of, yeah. You like you said, you can't make charity something. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you can't be like, oh, this is what charity is. No, it tell you what charity is, man. You know. <laughs> so if you want to cut a multitude of sins, this is what your charity better consist of. You know. Right, right. If we started up, you know what I'm saying? It's telling you if you bestowed your gifts, you know what I'm saying. If you have not charity, then you're nothing. You're nothing. You know, just roughly paraphrasing. Yep. You know. So obviously, it's telling you charity ain't ain't giving your goods to nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You know that 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 alone isn't charity. You gotta be in a certain spirit. You could do that, right. but you gotta be in a certain spirit. Yep. You know, for it to actually be charity. Yep. It says, um, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunts of not itself is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly. Seek of not her own is not easily provoked. Think of no evil. Mm. And they refer to her as a her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So it lets you know that, that uh charity has a feminine nature to it, brother. Feminine, you know what I'm saying? Like mocking, make it mock. Oh, it tell you fools make a mock at uh sin. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, oh, it ain't it ain't nothing awful, man. You you want you wanna be soft, you know, you wanna be a softy, you wanna be tender, you know what I'm saying? That's what fools do. You make you Bro, you need to do that. <laughs> you need to do that. You know, just throwing it out there, just like it, it was just interesting. I just called it, said her own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Her. You know, so <laughs> that so that's we have to have uh, some f some feminine uh, qualities into our nature. You know, that's what that's how you gird up your loins as a man. You know, gird up your loins as, as a man don't just mean just fucking being a brute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Gird up your loins as a man. That means uh. You know, uh, giving her yourself, even if someone is uh, abusing you, taking it, you know, taking it like a man. Like you say, take it like a man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a part of your charity. Kind of. It says, did not behave itself unseemly, seek of not her own, is not easily provoked, think of no evil. That's right. You know, not easily provoked. In Greek it goes to make sharp, sharpen, to stimulate, mm. spur on, urge, to irritate, <laughs> provoke, arouse to anger. So you're not easily, you know, aroused to anger, yeah, irritate, kind of, just right. easily. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Someone say Shalom, I'm wrong, man. This guy's the devil. Kick rocks. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like damn. You Fuck know out of here, demon. Like damn, you know, we gotta be we gotta be forbearing, we gotta forgive. God, you can't be easily provoked. You know what I'm saying? That hey man, if most I was easily provoked, then we would be nobody. Would be, everybody would be fitting, right? <laughs> it would be powder, <laughs> utterly beating the powder, man. <laughs> right, in, in the garden. Wait, you ate the apple. Gone. <laughs> if he was easily provoked, that's what it would happen, man. <laughs> it says, 
do not do not behave itself unseemly seek of not her own is not easily provoked think of no evil rejoice of not in iniquity but rejoice of in truth mm, that's right man this is amen and iniquity goes into injustice you know of a judge unrighteousness mm. of heart and life Ooh. a deed violating law and justice mm. act of unrighteousness mm. So you ain't that's nothing to be rejoicing in, man. Right. Something that's that someone getting done wrong, you shouldn't be rejoicing in that. Kind, bro. You know, especially I mean, really if it's, it's speaking to our people anyway, you right. know what I'm saying? Because it's a righteous thing, all right, for uh, you know what I'm saying, other nations to get dealt to dealt wrong because it's actually a right thing, mm -hmm. you know, if you if you could receive it. But mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We talking about in general, man. You know, you, your people, you know, in the world, especially those in the household of faith, but scripture say do good unto all men. You should be hoping the best. I mean, I, I jumped the gun. Yeah, I jumped the gun. Con. It says, bear of all things, believe of all things, hope of all things, endure of all things. Right. So this is, <laughs> con, let me get the word beareth in the Greek. It says, deck, thatch, to cover, to protect or keep by covering, to preserve. Mm. That's what charity does. Mm. Protect all things, man. Damn. You know? Like uh, Cain said, uh, my my brother's keeper. Mm. Well, ultimately, if you got that charity, yeah, you are. <laughs> you're everybody's keeper. You know, you're, you're bearing all things, man. God, uh, this is uh, to hide, conceal the errors or faults of others. Um, kind of not. You know, it's basically you, you you take responsibility, man, for for everything, man. You know, even if it ain't necessarily your fault, you're hey, you're gonna take the responsibility for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, because that that's just something that like you know. Charity does, man. Mm -hmm. And it says, believeth all things. Yep. So you need that, man. So that's why, you know, if, if we uh, get to the bottom of it where it says, hope, faith, and charity, you know, it says, greatest of these is charity because, you know, hope and faith is included in charity. You know what I'm saying? Because charity believeth all things and hopeth all things. And it says, endureth all things. That that That's that's big, man. You know? Because, you, know, uh, you know, Matthew 24. You know, he that endures into the end shall be saved. So yep. this right here is what's needed to endure. You know, no, no, uh, no strength, stamina to practice, getting in the gym, training, it ain't going to uh, help you. All right. That, that profits little. All right. So it can help you a little bit. It ain't going to give you the endurance to endurance to the end, though. Mm -hmm. You need this charity. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. you could, I mean. It's a lock here, but you know, good, in the beginning of the chapter, you could give your body to be burned, mm -hmm. okay? But that alone ain't charity, man. Right. All right. So if you could receive it, I mean, being the elect, you got to have this right here, you know. And it ain't like we say, it ain't just something we could just pinpoint and be like, "Yep, that I got it." Nah, man. <laughs> we got to continue to examine ourselves and see, you know, mm -hmm. if, if we if we uh if if we're uh we're really moving within charity, moving within charity, kind not because that's that bond of perfectness. That's that bond of perfection, you know. Yeah. Yep. And we read in what was the first Peter four. It says fervent charity. Mm -hmm. So it, yep. We we can have charity. It gotta be fervent right. charity. It gotta be that, that. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta be consistent. Right. You it know. says let love be without dissimulation. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so you, you gotta have love. Every Jake loves somebody. You know right. what I'm saying? But you gotta have that just across the board. Yeah, kind. For our people, man. Right. Yep. Love your neighbor yeah. as yourself. Kind, bro. It's not hard. It's not hard, man. Yeah, it can be, but I mean, you know, <laughs> yeah. if you're the elect, I mean, Lord well, willing, we those men, we're gonna be doing it, man. Nah, bro, you say the the remnant would not at all do iniquity. I don't see, I don't see what's the hard part about it. Like, I mean, I guess I could see it, but I mean, I mean, shit, when you really think about it from the perspective of Yahweh yeah, Shemal Shai, it really should just put you right in check. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, if you truly believe, it, yeah, it, it shouldn't. Yeah, it shouldn't be grievous. You know what I'm saying? Nah, Scripture nah. says, you know, the commandments aren't grievous. Nah, bro. You know, and that's what the commandments are. It goes into love, man. It nah, goes into bro. that charity. Nah. It says, charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. Yep. So this is that one trait that not only it's here on this side, but it's going to be in the kingdom. You know, all these other things, all right, prophecies. All right, the mark of the beast. All right, World War Three. Yep. All right, these the martial law. These are things that's not going to be in the kingdom, man. Right. This is something that's not going to endure the test of time. Yep. You know, but charity is going to be here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, knowing particular things. All right, certain sciences of, of this world. Right. Hey, man, that that's going to vanish away, man. Yep. You no, know, that's all folly. Yep. You know. 
you can have all the knowledge. Like the chapters bringing out, showing the advice, brothers, to read this chapter, man, God, and meditate on it, man. <laughs> God, uh, yep. And but see, this thing, his brother said, well, we're gonna love each other in the kingdom, so we ain't gotta worry about that right now. We're gonna love each other then. Love don't matter right now. We need to worry about getting the fuck up out of here. What well, the elect? They're gonna love to get the hell up out of here, though. That's the thing about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's the thing about it. Those, mm -hmm. th th that's what's going to get you out of here. Mm -hmm. Getting you out of here is not going to, uh, you're going to be saved by your works and your faith, your your, your faith and your works whereby you have believed. You know? Mm -hmm. That's that's how, that's what's going to save you, man. <laughs> you know? Right. Like Jake want to, um, they, they want to get paid first and then work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's, they don't work like that, God, man. You got to work first and then you're going to get paid. God, bro. God. So the elect, they, what's going, what's going to uh, separate them? What's going to make them holy? Because they're going to be doing what uh, we're going to do when, uh, when, when Yahweh make us do it. Before. They're going to be doing what they got to do before it was per se necessary or you know mandatory. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, before it's like forced. Yeah, kind. You know, know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they try, you know, forced to vax or something. Kind. Now this thing is, <laughs> hey man, it, it's going to be written in our inward parts. Good, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. This thing's going to be written in our inward parts, you know, starting with the elect, starting mm -hmm. with the elect, you know, and that process is going to start on this side. Yep. You know, this is going to start on this side. This is how the new covenant is going to be established yep. through, all right, the elect men who are going to do these things, God, you know, bro. if you could receive it, just God, like we brought out the name, our brothers think like, oh, we're going to have the name in the kingdom. Nah, man, we're gonna have the name on this side. God, bro, it's right. here already. It's here already. <laughs> right, just like charity, man. God, bro, it's here on this side, man. God, brother, um, we got a uh, sick of Israel too. Yeah, God, that was it on that. that was yeah. Last yeah, one. That was, yeah, that was the last one. On okay. Uh, okay. Um, it's sick of Israel chapter two and verse thirty-eight. It says, "Arise up and stand." Behold the number of those that be sealed in the feast of the Lord. Khan, you know? So to be sealed, that's what we want, man. We want that mark of exemption. You know, ultimately, Revelation, the uh, seventh chapter, talks about, all right, those that were sealed, all right, the 144,000, all right, from all the tribes of the nation of Israel, all right, and you got the one third as well. All right, this is what, what it's talking about. You got it. Mm -hmm. It says, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received glorious garments of the Lord. Ooh. <laughs> God, I'm not putting on as the elect, mm -hmm. man. Yep, this that this that garment, man. That Lord, when we those men, man, we gonna we gonna receive, man. You got it. It says, "Take thy number, O Sion, and set up those that are of thine that are clothed in white." <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. You got it. <laughs> Which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Ooh, God, I know the brother. Uh, what's Different scriptures that go into it, you know, fulfilling the law. What is what is that, man? Yeah, calm. you know, loving thy neighbor as thyself. Yep, that, that's how you fulfill the royal law. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That. This what the script. Yeah, I said this himself. Yeah, I said it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That hangs all the law and the prophets. You, like, we can't take this. We can't take this lightly, man. Yeah, how I said it, man. <laughs> he like, come on, man. <laughs> Good. It says. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people which have been called from the beginning may be hollowed. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Sion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, where are these? He answered, Oh, Salakia. That's Satan. Salakia. Mm hmm. Salakia. Yeah, the, the, this is talking about the elect right here, man. You got it. It says, He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Now are they crowned and receive palms. Mm. Yep. So this is what the elect will be doing, man. Putting off the mortal clothing, all right? Things that, that pertain to the flesh, all right? Lust, okay? Fornication, malice, all right? Things that we went into, man. It says, and put on the immortal, all right? And that's why charity is so big because, I mean, charity is going to not only be here now, it's going to be here in the kingdom. Charity is, all right, going to endure, all right? The test of time. You know, it says, and have confessed the name, all right? Of God, all right, which his name is Yahweh, all right, in the name of Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. 
That's something that the elect are going to be doing. All right. And it says, now they're crying to receive palms. You got it, bro. It says, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of Yahweh, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Kind of, I just thought, I wonder how these uh, Old Testament only guys, how, like, how, how they break this down. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. this was written right before uh, Yahusha was on the right, scene. Yep, yep. It's supposed to be, this pretty much is the Old Testament. The Apocrypha is the Old exactly. Testament. Exactly. Ezra. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because um, Yahusha quoted uh, the Apocrypha several times. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yep, yep. Kind of. This is. He answered and said to me, it is the son of God. All right. That, that's the one who, who crowns and gives us uh, the palms. Lord willing, we those men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I can't put myself in there. You, you know what I'm saying? But this is the, the one that's taller in stature. All right. This is talking about Yahweh Shah, man. Yep. This is whom they have confessed in the world. Yep. You know, and the uh, scriptures in the New Testament talk about it, man. Confessing. All right. It ain't like how these Christians like to say. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You know, I just confess Jesus is, is Christ. Nah, man, that, that's part of it. But you got to truly believe it and you got to show it, yep. you know, and it says here that they stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, mm -hmm. you know, and it, that's a whole action, man. That's a lifestyle, man. Standing stiffly for the name. They ain't just uh, battling somebody on a name, a debate. No, the name's <laughs> Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? That's not what it's talking about, it's man. <laughs> you know, you want to uh, debate your cause. You want to um, be ready to answer. But, you know, that's all part of it. But it's a, it's a lifestyle thing, man. Lord willing, we're standing stiffly for the name, man. Mm -hmm. that, that's really, you know, the spiritual war. Mm -hmm. All right. Satan going hard. We got to stand stiffly. Yep. You know, that's what the elect would be doing, man. Yeah. Because if you come in somebody's name, you come like somebody's name comes with a stigma. That's why yep. I say, uh, uh, like we was, we was touching on that a little bit earlier, you know. But that's uh, mm -hmm. that's why the scriptures say a, a good a good name mm -hmm. is better than precious ointment because whatever mm -hmm. your 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 name it's not your name itself mm -hmm. like it's, mm -hmm. it's what associated with the name mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying Kinda so not. you confess the name by you know associating yourself with it mm. you know that's right man I think we did a lesson a while called represent you know mm -hmm. what I'm yeah, saying not. that's yep. what it goes into Kinda man. Not. You know, when you hear somebody's names, like, you know, oh, my name ring bells. Like, yeah, you think kinda, somebody's name, you right. think of a particular thing. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing that we're going to stand stiffly on, man. Yep. Righteousness, man. Yep. Kind. And then uh, I thought about that scripture, too. I think it's when it speak about uh, the maiden. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, you know, the, the, the infamous scripture. I ain't going to go into it. it uh -huh. You know, but it speak about the maiden. It said, you have brought upon her a bad name. You know what I'm saying? Like you, like you brought a bad name on her, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's that's you, 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 you put like you, you, you gave her a certain type of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Interpretate like people looking at her a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like you can't bring bad names on people, man. You bring mm -hmm. bad names on people by not, uh, you know, by by uh, misappropriating them. Mm. You know. Whew. Man, I got to use that for that, that false witness lesson. Kinda, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, really being a false witness, you be giving somebody a bad name. Kinda. You know what I'm saying? That's why a certain that they got to get a certain judgment for that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You throwing dirt in somebody's name. Right, yep. Like they did something that they didn't do. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they got to pay for that. False witness. Yeah, that's right. Damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's cold. Like, that's yep. cold, man. Yep. Yep. I yeah. got one, one quick one, too. And then we think we got one more after that. Minute, so. Okay, Con. It's uh, Psalms 94 and 16. Con, I get it for you. Uh, this is in uh, Psalms 94. I keep typing 84, so lock, yeah. Psalms 94 and 16. Mm -hmm. It says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Yeah, that's what the elect going to do. They're going to stand up. That's how you confess the name. You confess the name by standing up. Uh, standing up for righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? For, for separating yourself from works of iniquity and separate way in yourself from evil. That's how you stand up for righteousness, man. Not just because you're standing up like, oh, this is this is what's right and this is what's wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You stand up for righteousness by standing up for righteous deeds no matter what. You know what I'm saying? Not just standing up for it by just like, <laughs> you know, just calling it out. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Colin Kaepernick, take a knee. <laughs> like that's cool and all, but you gotta do more, man. God, dog, that's not that's not really like how you confess it. Like, you, okay, you're you, that's good, you know what I'm saying? But like, 
you better make sure you're really confessing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. By standing up for it, you know. Cause I'm not. And the scriptures tell us what righteous what righteousness is. You know, true justice, true equity, true balance. Mm -hmm. You know, the fruits of the spirit. You know. Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, we got Romans eight and seventeen, and that's it. Oh, kind of. Spirit. You kind of, you kind of referenced yeah, we it. Quoted it, early, quoted it. Yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, because ultimately the elect are going to be, uh, the elect are going to establish a new kingdom, man. That's what it boils down to. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the elect are going to be doing these things. You know, because the kingdom is, are going to have those things. You know that the elect uh, are imparting, all right, to the rest of the world, man. It starts right with the leaders. You know, ultimately how about Shemihah Shai? You know, and then the elect men who are going to rule. You know, with Yahweh Shai. You know, but well, you know, it makes sense, man. Yep. Um, I can read it for you. Yeah. Romans 8 and 17. It says, I'm going to start 16. It says, The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. And if children, then heirs, heirs of Yahweh, and joint heirs with Mashiach, mm -hmm. if so be that we suffer with him, mm -hmm. that we may also. Be glorified together. Ah, uh, not nah, yeah. So be that we suffer with him, we may be glorified with him, man. All right, and that's what the elect gonna do. You know, they gonna suffer. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's that's the number. That's like the number one thing that uh <laughs> brothers uh try to skip over is the suffering. Like, oh, I, I, you know, I ain't gotta suffer. Well, you gonna or, or they, they want to suffer on their terms? You gonna you, <laughs> you gonna you gonna suffer on mm. the terms if you how about Shem, you how about shot, man? That's right. You know, you gonna you gonna take slaps in the face. You gonna take. Uh, fist to the face You know what I'm saying Not literally You know what I'm saying But you gonna mm -hmm. You know it, Shit if you got to You take it You know what I'm saying Like You gonna, you gonna get stumped on You gonna get spitted on You know You gonna get treated wrongly You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying Even though you're doing something right But guess what That's what That's a part of your walk As the elect man That's what's gonna make that, That's how you're gonna be glorified man You know That's how Yahweh Shah was glorified man You know When he was reviled He reviled Not again mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying he, When he was threatened He didn't threaten back you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Con. Yep. Charity suffers long. Con, nah, nah. Yeah, that's uh, that's how we got you got even more. Nah, I guess yeah, that was, I think a little when the point was made nah, Cause we could we could go longer. Yeah, most I definitely. <laughs> I was thinking this yeah. more, but yeah, that's that's yeah. it. Huh? Yeah, the point yeah. little was yeah. made. You yeah. know. With that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakadash. Double honors to the true leaders of the nation of Israel. Peace and salutations to all the sincere Akim, enduring afflictions, making their calling and election sure. Shalom. Shalom. DTA. Bob Ball.